Hare Krishna. This is one of the most beautiful childhood pastime of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One day, Jagannath Mishra called out for his son, Nemai. He said, Nemai, Nemai, can you get my book for me from inside? Nemai was playing with his friends outside when Jagannath Mishra called for him. On hearing Jagannath Mishra's voice, Nemai quickly ran inside to get the book. While Nimai ran inside the house, Jagannath Mishra could hear clear sound of ankle bells. He wondered, from where could this beautiful sound of ankle bell be coming from? As he was thinking, Nimai ran inside and bought the book for Jagannath Mishra. And with the same speed ran outside to play again with his friends. Jagannath Mishra, still thinking about the sound of the beautiful ankle bell, went inside the house to check. Jagannath Mishra thought, from where could such beautiful sound of ankle bell be coming from? Nimai did not wear ankle bells. So who was it who was running inside the house? When Jagannath Mishra looked down, he saw beautiful footprints with various auspicious signs. Jagannath Mishra then called for Mother Sachi and narrated the whole incident to her. Jagannath Mishra and Sachi Mata were filled with joy. With tears in their eyes, they could understand that these beautiful footprints were of none other than Krishna himself. Jagannath Mishra showed Sachi Mata that all the footprints were signs of lotus, chakra, shankar, gada, fish and many other auspicious symbols. Jagannath Mishra told Sachi Mata to go and prepare sweet rice and said that these beautiful footprints are of none other than their Govardhan Shila, who transformed in the form of little Krishna and moved about in the house. They felt ecstatic love for Krishna and thanked Krishna again and again for coming in their house. Mother Sachi's heart filled with joy as she prepared the bhoga offering for their Shaligram Srila. Jagannath Mishra and Sachi Mata felt great happiness as they worshipped their Shaligram Srila. And while they did so, Nimai stood there smiling. <laughs>